I get this question a lot of times that uh, data science versus MIS versus computer science versus, uh, you know, BA. I did my bachelor's from BIT University, Vellore. Uh, I did my bachelor's in computer science. And um, so mainly I knew that I wanted to work in the IT industry. So um, I did all the core courses over there uh, related to algorithms, network. Then I worked with Deloitte Consulting in India, um, uh, in the Bangalore office. Um, and being in consulting, I got good amount of client exposure. When you're in consulting, a lot of students will associate with me. You get to work on a wide array of tech stack, you know, even within the company or, uh, you know, outside. So you work on wide array of tech stack. That's when I decided I wanted to do, to do my master's in management information systems because it was uh, IT that I was closely associated with and I wanted to continue with. I did my management in information systems. Um, I uh, started looking for universities um, and out of which I applied in, uh, Tex I did my master's from Texas A&M University and I graduated in May 2021. And currently I'm working as a data engineer um, in Houston at EDP Renewables. I had considered uh, Canada as well. I had checked various universities in Canada. But when it comes to management information systems, uh, I believe US has a better market to offer. If I'm doing research oriented courses and you know, or maybe concentrating on computer science or pure sciences or engineering courses, Canada would be my uh, first thought. But uh, the industrial courses, I was more aligned to US. I get this question a lot of times that uh, data science versus MIS versus computer science versus, uh, you know, BA. So the thing is, um, MIS is is uh, more about industry, how the IT industry work, you know, what are the industry standards? Um, if you, um, there are courses like business information security, you know, which helps a company uh, help in case of uh, any hacker attack, etc. Then there are um, corporate information planning. And then there are courses on databases, two very advanced databases, which are normally used in a company. Now, when you come to, uh, versus when you come to a B BA. BA is uh, business analytics is mainly analytics so you learn in detail about R, Python, those languages and you know the other uh, inlining framework used for pure analytics. They would not teach you things like how to run an IT company you know so um, that, that that is the core difference out of it. Even data science is they, they teach you about statistical models, they teach you about um, uh, how to build build those models, how to perform ETL pipelines etc but they will not teach you how to run a company so because of these business courses MIS is different. A lot in Tamu. Um, it, it is known to give a lot of scholarships and on-campus jobs. It's called um, a, a student-driven university. So you see students as bus drivers, you know, you see students in normal restaurants, as servers, etc. Even uh, it's known for the football, football games. So even during the football matches, we have students arranging the whole thing in and out and uh, that's their day job basically. People work in the library, etc. Even with, with researchers, professors. So you have all sorts of work. I wanted to work part time for sure in order to support my education. So that is the uh, primary reason I was more inclined to this. It was almost uh, the entire percentage was uh, from my education loan. But I want to point out one thing, when you come here, when you get an assistantship, right? For every semester, some part of your fee, 40%, 50%, it gets um, it gets re deducted. So if your semester fee, for example, is 13,000, and um, if you get an uh, assistantship in that particular period, you get, um, you get a, a monthly cost as well, you know, um, the, uh, the, you get paid for the work you do, plus your um, your fees for that semester get slashed down to 60% or maybe 50% of it. So that is very beneficial even if you uh, so get sanctioned the whole, whole loan amount but uh, be very vigilant once you are on campus to secure these kind of positions. It's, it's definitely a good learning uh, stage as well you know you work with a lot of different people, professors directly 
who have a good amount of knowledge in teaching and research and you can cut down your education loan as well so for me for uh, for nearly 3 semesters i i got those opportunities i got scholarships later as well so always fill those forms always look out for those opportunities you know wherever whichever department is providing it go ahead and fill it you never know you know wherever you would get a, sp- a scholarship and that would end up doing well for you Uh, you need to apply for these jobs beforehand and i was not aware of the whole process so when i came in um uh, the, it it was a whole chaotic thing you know you have just started off with your subjects it's kind of you are going back to education after a long time there is a portal that uh, helps you keep track of you know what jobs are available right from assistantship positions like teaching assistant research assistant to the part time ones so i started working for the football games in the very beginning and uh, started uh, working as a cashier a snack server etc and that was a fun um, part of it because for the for the very first semester most of my friends were doing that work and uh, we were paid hourly for that and we used to have so texas a&m is known for football and we host seven games on campus um, you know in college station So um those seven games are huge actually it's it's a one time experience for everybody who comes to us for the first time and um so we we got to see the games as well work as a cashier over there and um so that was the very very beginning of it uh, after that i applied as a research assistant um and i had a background of data analysis so i started working with um with the department of research on campus and uh, that's where i worked for another one and a half year So we work a lot with, and we understand. So our major um, uh, stakeholders are data scientists. We work with them. We uh, basically process the whole data. We clean the whole data for them. We store it in a safe place, and then they run models on top of that. So um, that's my day-to-day job. it's it's kind of affordable because the rates are um, you can you can you can afford. within 300 dollars you can have a single room for yourself i stayed in college station which is even cheaper it's i would like to say that one of the cheapest places in texas so that was around that but if you go to dallas austin or even houston the bigger cities if you pay around 600 or 700 dollars uh, you would get a personalized room for yourself in an apartment um so that is about it and um, the other parts of it the grocery etc um if if you are ready to cook at home it's always affordable but that is a whole process of you know um getting we we do have a lot of pre cooked samples that you you get outside we have chopped vegetables and all those things available that makes the whole process easier one thing that i tell to all the new coming students is that if you if you come in a fall intake in august right and um, don't start becoming curious by october november saying that you know i w- i had a good job back in india i left it and I, i came here and i'm struggling to get a job you you just new over here try exploring the subjects try exploring what kind of job do you want and the job market really opens up in january and february those are the peak months where you get most of the internships even full time job offers and it's a golden period for internships so i would say utilize from october to december you know work on your resume polish it accordingly apply on post you might get a call back from january to february